All right, how we doing? Um, my name is Mr. Petter, and I am the eighth grade art teacher at the middle school. Um, I wanted to make this video just to encourage any seventh grade student. And if you're a sixth grade student watching this, I guess I'm talking to you too, because um, you also will have an amazing opportunity coming up. And the video is all about accelerated art, okay, or advanced art as we call it on the schedule. So a couple of really cool things about advanced art. Advanced art is a, um, a, a little bit of a different or quite a bit different of a curriculum than on level eighth grade art, okay? It does not mean that it's a better course. Um, it just means that it's accelerated, which means it could be a faster pace. You could be focusing on technical skills and content specific standards that maybe are a little bit higher than an eighth grade level. Um, but really for the most part, uh, both are great classes. Um, the only thing about the advanced class is that you do need to apply. Okay. Now, the first thing that I wanted to mention was that there's a few things that get in the way of people like us or people like you applying for something that we're unsure about. Okay. Number one, self-confidence. Okay. If you are somebody that just, maybe you don't think you're very good. At the first day, I always laugh. I ask all my students the first day of school. I say, raise your hand if you are horrible at art. You know how many hands go up? About 99%. There may be a couple kids that are like, eh, I think I'm pretty good. But everybody thinks that they are no good at drawing, painting, sculpting. Um, and mainly, unfortunately, it's because you never really had a lot of experience with art. Okay? Even considering that you took seventh grade art, that was only 12 weeks, okay? So that's a very short amount of time. The other thing that I wanted to mention that, and it kind of gets in the way, is we have students that did not get into seventh grade advanced art or they didn't apply for seventh grade advanced art. So what does that mean? What that means is there's a lot of students out there that are far um, deserving to be in eighth grade advanced art but they didn't take seventh grade advanced art. And so from them, they think that, well, I didn't take seventh grade advanced art. I probably shouldn't take eighth grade advanced art. Okay, that's a huge misconception, all right? Seventh grade advanced art was put in to boost up our numbers and to boost up our um, basically readiness for eighth grade advanced art. But there is nothing that says you cannot go from seventh grade on level to eighth grade advanced. Okay. And so basically, no matter who's watching this video, if you are a seventh grade student walking the building, you should and could apply for advanced eighth grade art. Okay. In a dream scenario, there's probably about 450 seventh graders this year. In a dream scenario, I would get 450 applications. And I know that sounds ridiculous. Would 450 kids get accepted? No, <laughs> that's not how it's going to work. Um, to be completely honest, we have about three classes, which would make up about 75 students. If we get more, there's nothing that says we can't have four advanced art courses, which would now be 100 kids. The more that apply typically means that we find more students that are capable to take the course. Now, here's the thing. Is there a possibility that you would not get into the course? Sure, there is a possibility. Okay. What we do is we don't necessarily look at it like accept and reject. We don't look at it that way. We get the applications and what the number one question that we ask ourselves, would this student do better in advanced art or would they do better in on level? Now, that doesn't mean if you're, if you're the best art student in eighth grade, obviously you would do incredible in eighth grade art, okay? What's best for you? Okay, maybe I even worded that incorrectly, but whatever. What's best for you is what our main objective is when we look at the applications, okay? So yes, it is a yes or no. Do you get in, get up? Do you not get in? That is correct, and I know students are kind of worried about that. But honestly, you should apply because um, the last thing that you want is to get to eighth grade and realize, oh, no, I should have applied for that. 
because I'm definitely good enough. And you might see kids in eighth grade and you might see, oh, I could definitely do that. Right. So I always say it's always better to put your name in the hat than to not have the option at all. Okay. And you don't want to look back and regret. A couple really cool things about eighth grade art. Eighth grade art, um, advanced eighth grade art, I should say, it does start opening up some opportunities that on level students won't necessarily get. Okay. Number one, if you are in advanced eighth grade art, there's a couple different art shows where we will probably take mostly advanced eighth grade art students. It doesn't mean if you're an on-level, you can't participate in those shows, but really the, the advanced kids are the ones that are interested in art. They take art. Naturally, that's just the way it happens. Okay. The other thing is when you start thinking about high school, Okay, some of you may have heard of JSA. It's an incredible art program at the high school um, where most of our eighth grade art students kind of start looking into and they start becoming more interested in that program. Okay. Well, when you go to the high school, there is freshman level art. Okay, which is a good course. But if you do well enough in advanced eighth grade art, you would actually be able to skip that course and take even bigger, better courses at the high school. Okay, so it does provide, that's just a little small example, but it does provide some really cool opportunities um, for you moving into high school. It kind of gets you on an accelerated track. Um, if you're not in eighth grade advanced art, that's fine. You can still get right up to speed with everybody else. But um, I will be honest, eighth grade advanced art does help get you ready for things like that. Now, if, art, if you know that art's not going to be your thing, that's totally fine, too. Okay, we get that all the time. Some of our best art students um, want to go into JAGS or something else. It's, we get it. Um, it's just the nature of the game. Um, but I just wanted to encourage everybody to think about it. I wanted to encourage everybody to apply. And um, if you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out. Now, before I let you go, I want to show you two more things. And this, this might take a minute, but... If you have time, stick with me. I wanted to show you some artwork that was created this year in advanced eighth grade art. And I can kind of skip through it really quick. So we did projects um, such as the pen and ink with watercolor. Some of you may have experience with that with Mr. Hoffman. Um, this was a portrait done with pen. I believe that one was a gold key at Scholastics. Nice job, Mackenzie. Um, this is a pen. If you look really close, that is all pen. So those are all tiny dots. Uh, that was an incredible job by Ella. And I'm not going to name off all the names. Mallory, obviously another, uh, masterpiece for eighth grade advanced art. Um, but as I go through these, you'll start to see that some of this looks way too overwhelming. Well, trust me, I know that every student that did these last year had the same exact feelings and they were probably very surprised once they learned how to do this, once they saw the process, once they saw all the steps, um, they learned that they are actually are very capable of this. And it's a really cool um, experience that you can have in eighth grade, okay? Um, not to mention the, the classes are usually laid back. You're going to take classes with students that have a lot of similar interests. And we did a, a variety of really cool art mediums, different subject matter. Okay, and, and some really cool stuff. Now, even if you're an e-learner, we had a lot of e-learners. This is one of the better pieces. Um, we had a lot of e-learners that still took advanced eighth grade art. Now, I don't know what next school year is going to look like, but if there is a scenario where we do still have e-learners, don't think that this excludes you. Okay. So um, I wanted to kind of show you some of that artwork that, that we did this year. Um, hopefully you enjoy it. I'll actually post this in the Polaris page that I'm about to show you. Now, if you go to Polaris, let me see if I can switch this over. Let's see. Um. <laughs> oh, 
All right, it looks like I'm not going to be able to. But if you go to Polaris, it's fine because I already set it up. If you go to Polaris, what you'll notice is that there's a course, and hopefully you signed up for this course. I, I believe it was shared with you a few different ways. Um, but if you need the course, just let me know. Um, there's a course that's for your application. Your entire application is going to be submitted just like many of your assignments are submitted for all of your other classes. So in the course, there is an assignment with a Google Doc attached. Well, that Google Doc is going to have a couple different sections. It's going to have the application, so you will have to fill in some answers. But there's going to be a few spaces at the very bottom for you to submit two pieces of artwork. Okay, now here's what we ask. We ask that one of those pieces is a piece that is um, your own artwork done outside of school. Okay, that could be whatever you would like. It could be a sketch. It could be a sculpture. It could be a painting. Um, it could be anything. Okay, take your time on it. Try to do a nice job, obviously. Now, the second option is you can turn in something that was done in seventh grade art. Okay, or art club or whatever it may be. So you need two pieces. You're gonna write a little bit about each piece. It's a pretty quick process. I don't think the application should take you too long. And so when you submit, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you click submit application or submit assignment, because technically it's an assignment. And once you submit that assignment, you will have applied for eighth grade advanced art. Okay, excuse me, got the hiccups. So we will go through that and we will pick, we will pick out the students that we think are deserving of or are, are deserving and should be placed in advanced art. We will notify you and we'll go from there. Okay. So hopefully this video helped explain a few things. Hopefully it got you excited about the opportunity. Um, and if you have any questions, just stop down in the art room, um, ask some questions, and I can't wait to see what everybody turns in for their application. All right. Um, like I said, I'm in room 154. Mr. Hoffman is in room 156. Either one of us can answer your questions. Um, but with that, um, have a great day. Have a great weekend if this is uh, Friday that you're watching this. But I'm um, looking forward to seeing what everybody turns in.